Now let's have a look at the solutions in section B, modules. We are going to start, of course, with module 1, matrices. In question 1, we are told that Kai has a part-time job. Each week, he earns money and saves some of this money. The matrix below shows the amounts earned and saved in dollars in each of three weeks. The question is asking how much did Kai save in week 2? Week 2, so we have to look at row 2, and the saved money is going to be in column 2. At the intersection of row 2 and column 2, we have the element 90. So the answer we are after is option B, $90. From the 2017 VC examination report, 98% of the students chose the correct option. So this question was answered extremely well. In question 2, we are given a matrix that shows how five people, Alan, Bevan, Charlie, Drew and Esther, can communicate with each other. A 1 in the matrix shows that the person named in that row can send a message directly to the person named in that column. For example, the 1 in row 3 and column 4 shows that Charlie can send a message directly to Drew. Esther wants to send the message to Bevan. Which one of the following shows the order of people through which the message is sent? Let's start with option A. Esther in row 5 to Bevan in column 2, there is a 0, so this option can be crossed out. Now let's look from Esther to Charlie. Esther in row 5, Charlie in column 3. There is a 1, so Esther can send a message directly to Charlie. Let's check from Charlie to Bevan. Row 3 to column 2. That's a 0, so we can cross out option B. Now we are going to check from Charlie to Alan. From Charlie, row 3 to Alan, column 1. That is a 0, so we can cross out option C as well. Now we are going to check from Charlie to Drew. Charlie, row 3, Drew, column 4, there is a 1, so this is correct. Now let's check from Drew to Bevan. Drew in row 4, Bevan, column 2, that is a 0, so we are going to cross out option D as well. Now let's check option E. From Drew to Allen, row 4 to column 1, there is a 1, so that is true as well. And now we have from Allen to Bevan, row 1 to column 2. That is a 1, so the answer we are after is option E. From the 2017 VC examination report, 90% of the students chose the correct option, so this question was answered very well. Question 3. Which one of the following matrix equations has a unique solution? For a unique solution, the determinant of the square matrix is not equal to 0. In option A, the determinant of the square matrix is equal to 1 times 1 take away 1 times 1, and this equals 0. So we can cross out option A because this does not have a unique solution. The determinant of the square matrix in option B is equal to 6 times 4 take away negative 4 times negative 6, and that gives us 24 minus 24, which is 0. So we can cross out this option as well. In option C, the determinant of the square matrix is equal to 8 times 2 minus 4 times negative 4, which is 16 plus 16, that is 32, this is not equal to 0. So the answer we are after is option C. From the 2017 VC examination report, 63% of the students chose the correct option with 14% of the students choosing the incorrect option A.
Question four. A permutation matrix P can be used to change the column matrix fears into the column matrix safer. The question is asking for the permutation matrix P. A permutation matrix must have one and only one one per row. Looking at the matrix in option A, we notice that each row has two ones, so we can cross out option A. Similarly, the matrix in option D has two ones in each row, so we can also cross out option D. Let's start with the letter S. The letter S must move from row 5 in the first column matrix to row 1 in the second column matrix. This requires an element 1 to be in row 1 and column 5. Only the matrices in options C and E have a 1 in row 1 and column 5, so we can cross out option B. The letter A must move from row 3 in the first column matrix to row 2 in the second column matrix. This requires an element 1 to be in row 2 and column 3. This doesn't change anything because both matrices have a 1 in row 2 and column 3. So let's check the next letter. The letter F must move from row 1 in the first column matrix to row 3 in the second column matrix. This requires an element 1 to be in row 3 and column 1, which means that we can cross out option E, so the answer we are after is option C. From the 2017 VC examination report, 74% of the students chose the correct option. Question 5. Four teams, A, B, C, and D, competed in a round-robin competition where each team played each of the other teams once. There were no draws. The results are shown in the matrix below. A 1 in the matrix shows that the team named in that row defeated the team named in that column. For example, the 1 in row 2 shows that team B defeated team A. The question is asking for the values of F, G and H. All elements on the leading diagonal must be zeros, which means that H is equal to zero. So we can cross out options B and E. The element one in row three and column one means that team C defeated team A. This means that team A lost against team C, which means that F is equal to zero. So we can cross out options C and D. The element zero in row two and column three means that team B lost against team C. This means that team C defeated team B, which means that G equals one. So the answer we are after is option A. From the 2017 VC examination report, 74% of the students chose the correct option. Question six. The table below shows information about two matrices A and B. The rule for the elements in matrix A is Aij equals 2i plus j, where i is the row number and j is the column number in matrix A. The rule for the elements in matrix B is Bij equals i minus j, where i is the row number and j is the column number in matrix B. The question is asking for the sum of the two matrices A plus B. The element in row I and column J in the sum matrix A plus B can be calculated using the formula Aij plus Bij equals 2i plus j plus i minus j. 
This simplifies to 3i. So all the elements in row 1 for i equals 1 are going to be equal to 3 times 1, which is 3. All the elements in row 2, i equals 2, are going to be equal to 3 times 2 equals 6. And all the elements in row 3, i equals 3, are going to be equal to 3 times 3, which is 9. So the answer we are after is option D. From the 2017 VC examination report, 58% of the students chose the correct option, with 13% of the students choosing the incorrect option B and 12% of the students choosing the incorrect option C. Question 7. At a fish farm, young fish may eventually grow into juveniles or they may die. Juveniles may eventually grow into adults or they may die. Adults eventually die. The initial state of this population F0 is shown below. Every month fish are either sold or bought so that the number of young juvenile and adult fish in the farm remains constant. The population of fish in the fish farm after n months Fn can be determined by the recurrence rule given, where B is a column matrix that shows the number of young, juvenile and adult fish bought or sold each month and the number of dead fish that are removed. The question is asking to choose one of the five options. First of all, we are going to write an expression for F1. Using available CAS technology, we are going to use TI Inspire, we multiply the matrix given by F0. Remember that the numbers must remain constant. So the product matrix plus B is equal to F0, or B is equal to F0 minus the product matrix. Now let's interpret these results. The positive sign means that more have to be bought, while the negative sign means that more have to be sold or removed. The first element of the matrix, 17,500 young fish, must be bought, so we can cross out option C. The second element in the matrix, 10,000 juvenile fish, must be sold, so we can cross out option E as well. The third element shows that 1,650 adult fish must be sold. So the answer we are after is option A. From the 2017 VC examination report, 36% of the students chose the correct option. This question wasn't answered well at all because 64% of the students chose one of the incorrect options. Question 8. Consider the matrix recurrence relation below. Matrix T is a regular transition matrix. We are also given matrix S1 and we are asked to determine which one of the following expressions is not true. Because T is a regular transition matrix, the elements in the first column add up to 1. This means that x is equal to 0 0.5. The elements in the second column add up to 1 as well. This gives us y equals 0 0.6. v, w and z add up to 1 since they are the elements of column 3. Using the recurrence relation we can write an expression S1 equals T S0. We substitute the matrices and now using available case technology, we are going to use TI Inspire, 
we multiply the two matrices on the right hand side of the equation. Now we have obtained an equality between two matrices. So we can equate corresponding elements. We start with 20v plus 15 equals 29 and we solve this equation for v, so v equals 0 0.7. We do the same for the elements in rows 2, so 20w plus 11 equals 13, and now we solve this for w, so w equals 0 0.1. We know that v plus w plus z equals 1, so we substitute the values for v and w, and we end up with z equals 0 0.2. Checking the five options, the only option that is not true is option A. From the 2017 VC examination report, only 30% of the students chose the correct option. So it seems that students struggled with this question since 70% of them chose one of the incorrect options.